This video covers what's in the box, setting up your spirometer, taking a pulmonary function test, cleaning your spirometer. What's in the box? In the box you will find the spirometer, two AAA batteries, and instruction booklet. Remember to put the batteries both facing the same way. The cover is tricky to put back on. Align the groove with the slot carefully. Setting up your device. Prepare your phone or tablet. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. On your phone, go to the Apple App Store or Google Play Store and search for Zephyrx Breathe Easy. Then download and install. Upon launching the app, connect the spirometer to your phone or tablet. The device ID is on the label on the back of your spirometer. You'll need the last four digits on the second line of numbers. On subsequent uses, your phone or tablet will try to connect to your same spirometer. Grant Zephyrx the right to share your test results with your designated provider organization. For example, your physician and the clinic staff. Enter your physical attributes, which will provide your physician a better assessment of your breathing quality compared to norms. While adverse reactions are rare, if you experience any physical discomfort, stress, or pain, including but not limited to shortness of breath, dizziness, or feeling faint, immediately stop the test. If the conditions are serious or worsen, contact your doctor or call your local emergency service, like 911 in the United States. Taking a test. Find a relaxed setting and sit upright in a chair, ideally with armrests, but without wheels or casters. Read the instructions carefully. Place the spirometer in your mouth and make sure your lips form a good seal around the mouthpiece. Take a huge inhale, the biggest possible. Then blast the air out of your lungs, keeping going until the air is out at least six seconds. Then take a final huge inhale. Per the ATS, the app requires three good tests or eight attempts, whichever comes first. After at least three attempts, you can save and exit even before three good attempts are obtained. Finally, the inhale at the end of the test is optional. Check with your doctor if it's needed. If you've provided consent, your test will be shared automatically with your healthcare provider. The ZephyrX app will save an almost unlimited number of tests. You can review any test at any time. Optionally, you can email or text your results to your healthcare provider. Cleaning your spirometer after use. Wash your hands thoroughly and get your equipment ready. Gentle dishwashing liquid, two bowls, one for each step, paper or cloth towels. Wash the spirometer mouthpiece and turbine in warm soapy water. Disinfect the spirometer mouthpiece and turbine in 3% hydrogen peroxide for a minimum of 30 minutes. Then rinse the turbine and mouthpiece in cool sterile water, which can be made by boiling water for five minutes and then letting it cool. Once dry, Reassemble and store safely. Make sure to give a quarter clockwise twist as you reinsert the turbine. About half an inch will protrude from the rear if installed properly. Thank you for watching our home spirometry instructions.